Yo, Anna here. I am looking at a collection of destroying angel mushrooms, uh, most likely Amanita bisporigera, uh, but they are, um, you know, would be classified uh, commonly as destroying angels for obvious reasons. They're really, really bad to eat and can kill you, uh, but they're in the Amanita section Phylloideae. And uh, as with many, many other Amanitas, <clears throat> there's a lot of study. There have been a lot of changes in the taxonomy over the years. Uh, but these are mushrooms that you absolutely should get to know because they are both common and very, very dangerous. Um, that said, you're always, uh, you know, uh, welcome to, encouraged to uh, not be frightened to handle these mushrooms. You have to eat and digest them in order for the amatoxins to shut down your liver and, um, you know, cause you grievous harm. So you can always handle these with impunity. I've even seen people taste test them and spit uh, parts of the cap out. That, I think, is overkill, uh, I, even though it does impress the kids, I suppose. Um, so anyway, Amanita uh, bisporigera and uh, similar species have a couple of really um, distinct characteristics. First of all, they are probably one of the prettiest groups of mushrooms out there in the world. They are just so pristine and so white. Uh, they really, you know, stand out against every background. They can be quite large. You know, this is sort of an average sized specimen. Uh, they are, as you can see, a classic cap and stem mushroom uh, in, you know, these white colors. Sometimes you'll see just a little bit of a, a tinge to them, uh, sort of a, you know, yellowish thing going on. But I think that's just um, sort of environmental conditions and staining as opposed to it actually being um, a feature of the, you know, the mushroom itself. Anyway, you are typically looking at a very, very bright white mushroom when you're looking at a destroying angel. Um, the uh, stem has a very fine sort of uh, scurfy surface and a, a little bit uh, of, of fluffiness to it. Um, and it takes the form of sort of, um, you know, uh, stretch marks as the mushroom expands. So that's a distinguishing feature. Also, you have a uh, white cap and snowy white gills. I'm going to um, show you that. So the gills are absolutely pure snow white. You also have uh, a partial veil. So uh, basically that is a layer of protective tissue. I've got a piece of it on my hands here that uh, covers the baby mushroom's gills. And then as the mushroom expands, the um, uh, partial veil breaks and it leaves this ring on the stem. We do have a destroying angel um, that does not have a ring on the stem that I have in my backyard and it was a cool discovery this year. Uh, but usually if you're looking at a destroying angel species, it's going to have a ring on the stem. Okay, so uh, besides that, the most uh, important characteristic of uh, Amanita mushrooms in general, but certainly destroying angels, is that they have a pronounced uh, cup of tissue at the base of the stem. So baby mushroom uh, grows up inside this universal veil. It's a protective layer of tissue. It keeps it from getting eaten. Uh, and then as the mushroom expands, it bursts and it leaves this, uh, this cup that is separable. Like some Amanitas, this is more like a bulb, but this is actually a distinct piece of tissue that you can just pull right off. So that's how to um, distinguish destroying angels from other mushrooms. Again, um, this is probably the number one reason that, uh, you know, Amanita mushrooms can be dangerous. This and the death cap uh, mushrooms are really, really bad news. Uh, so, you know, when I got started with mushroom hunting, I got a really good recommendation, which was pick a couple of species that you want to eat, collect them a bunch of times, verify your IDs so that you're not nervous, learn how to identify Amanita mushrooms to genus and don't eat them for a long time until you're very very confident because uh, The consequences of a mistake are just so grievous. Anyway, um, I'm gonna leave these here uh, For the bugs. <laughs> this is another thing. Sometimes I'll see someone on a forum be like well I saw a deer or uh, bugs are eating this mushroom. Does that mean it's uh, non-toxic and safe and the answer is absolutely not uh, a lot of you know uh, deer love to eat death cap mushrooms so at any rate I'm going to leave this here for the wildlife and they will enjoy it far more than anyone in the um, homo sapien uh, category ever could.